Hey there guys, Mac Junkie here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to change your microphone for the better, how to make it sound a lot better. Right now, my microphone sounds like it does out of the box. And after the edits that I'm going to show you how to make, my microphone will now sound like this. And you can make your microphone sound a lot better as well. In the description, I have two links, one for Equalizer EPO and the other one for Peace Setup. So those two links will be in the description. Download those two programs, drag them to your desktop, and what you're going to need to do is open them in a specific order. I want you to open Equalizer APO first and go through the installation process. After opening it, you will see the setup wizard. You hit next, hit agree, hit next, and of course, install it. Once it is installed, you will be given this dialog box. In the playback devices, you're going to choose the current device that you were listening to this video through. What headphones are you using? What speakers are you using? Etc. I'm using a USB DAC, so I have my SPDIF interface selected here, but it's pretty straightforward. Then you're going to go to the next section here, capture devices, and you're going to choose your microphone. As you can see, I have the Rode NT USB selected. Now, after you have these selected, you're gonna have a next button here, but since I already have the program installed, everything's already working for me. And of course, you can open the dialog box again by using the configurator. Once you do select all the options, you will need to reboot your computer. So go ahead and reboot the computer and then come back to this video. All right, guys, welcome back. Now I want you to open up the piece setup that you downloaded here, double click it. And once it opens up here, you're going to see an option here to install piece, you're going to click install. Once it installs, a button will show up below it saying start piece. I already have piece installed, so I will not be doing this, but that's how easy it is. Click install, click start piece. Now once piece opens up, you're going to be given an option between simple interface and full interface. You're going to choose the full interface option. And there it is, here's piece. Now it looks really, really confusing, but the stuff we're going to do is super easy. All you have to do is follow along with this video. Now right up here I have the on and off button. This is my personalized EQ. As you can hear when I turn it off, I sound a lot more sort of plain and normal. And when I enable it, I sound a lot better. Deeper bass, more pronounced voice, and uh, it just sounds a lot better. So. You don't have to worry about 99% of these buttons. All you have to do is go to this little drop down box here, and you're going to choose your microphone from this list. I have the Rode NT USB, whatever headset, USB, whatever kind of microphone you're using, just select it from this list. Once you select it, click this little green wavy line here, and that's gonna open up a second box. And in the bottom left, I want you to adjust, uh, or like check mark all these boxes here. Basically just check all these boxes, that way you'll be able to alter the EQ in any way you want. Now for the sake of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and flatten my EQ and readjust it to where it was before, and I'm gonna walk you guys through how to do this for your own personal microphone, because most of you guys probably don't have the same microphone as me. And on top of that, all of our voices sound different, so every single person is gonna have a slightly different EQ, but I'm gonna show you guys how to create it. First, we need to make sure that we can hear ourselves. So you're gonna go down here to your, uh, to your Windows taskbar, right click on the sound icon, click Sounds, and this little dialog box will open here. Go to recording, find your microphone, right click it, go to properties, go to listen, select listen to this device, and then click apply. Now, I am hearing myself through my microphone. So once you guys enable that listening hear through feature, I'm going to show you guys what to do next. Now, this is probably gonna sound really bad for you guys, so I'm gonna try and not talk too much, but ironically, to make your microphone sound better, we have to figure out where it sounds its absolute worst. So, for people that have deeper voices and higher voices, this is going to change, but nearly everybody's uh, peak for the lower mid-range of your voice is gonna be between 200 and 500 hertz. So, you can count that over, one, two, three, four, five, and um, the sixth purple dot from the left, you're going to grab this, move it all the way to the top. Now I'm going to talk less because I sound really bad right now. <laughs> but what you're going to do is move this all the way up and simply be silent and say the word check or test. Every time you say it, move it slightly to the left or slightly to the right. 
and figure out where it sounds the absolute worst. But try not to go past any of the purple dots. Try and stay in between them. Check. Check. Now I'm going to cancel out that frequency. Not all the way, but some of you guys who may have nicer-ish headphones might already be able to tell a difference. Now what we're doing here is finding where our voice sounds the absolute worst, and we're canceling out those frequencies to make your voice sound better. This will also noticeably remove a lot of echo from your room without even having any sound pads. That's what I've noticed. Now once you find that first range between the 200 and 500 hertz mark, I want you to move it to a um, minus 10. Now you can do an exact adjustment here just by typing in minus 10 into this box here and that'll adjust it perfectly here. Um, so now we're going to go back to our graph here with the purple dots. Go to the one directly to the right. If you have a higher voice, if you're a female or if you have or you do with a higher voice, skip over to this dot here. I personally have a lower voice, so I use this dot. We're trying to find the higher tones of your voice and the, the process is exactly the same. Drag the dot to the top and find out where you sound the worst, usually the most echoey or distorted. Check. Check. Right there. Perfect. Now I have properly canceled out the horrible sounding frequencies of my voice. And uh, you can do this however you want. I haven't personally messed around with it too much. I personally use this sort of stair step pattern here where um, my lower frequency is slightly less canceled out than my higher frequency in my voice. You can, of course, drag these everywhere you want. I just personally found that moving the higher tones of your voice to negative 15 and keeping the lower tones at a negative 10 keeps things slightly better for me. Um, now that this now that this is done, this is actually the hardest part. We don't have to we don't have to ear rape ourselves anymore. We're all good. Now we are going to emphasize the S's in your voice. Now if you already have a headset microphone or a, or a lower quality microphone, the S's are usually super pronounced. So you can use your own judgment here. But if you, see, if you think you sound a little bit muffled, we can pronounce the S's and P's and everything that uses an S in your voice. So what I usually do here is I'll go around the 10K mark to the purple dot directly to the left here. We're gonna drag this one up just one bar here to about five decibels and we'll make that exact adjustment there five decibels and this is just going to make things that have s's slightly more sharp now if it's too sharp for your microphone you can of course disable it or boost it slightly or even if you're using a headset microphone reduce the amount of s prominence in your voice to make your microphone sound medium more more leveled now, what I'm going to do now is go to the to the purple dot, two to the left from this one, and I'm going to boost my upper range slightly. Now, this is more personalized to my voice. You can play around with this dot here to make yourself sound exactly how you want, but this is where I usually like to keep it. And now we are going to go to the bass tones. Now, you'll notice that I don't have any added bass to my voice in my EQ, and that's because my voice is already particularly low, and if I boost the bass, it usually tends to sound a little bit nasally. Just for an example, I'll do a bass boost there, and it sounds really kind of ear-rattlingly bassy, too much, so I just leave that one at zero. But these four sliders right here are perfect to mess around with, especially if you have a headset microphone, which usually have little to no bass presence. And if you have a normal-ish sounding voice or even a deeper voice and you're using a headset, I heavily recommend you boost the dot in between 50 and 100 hertz just up a little bit. And of course, using your speech, your speech monitoring, you can listen to yourself and find where you sound the absolute best. And guys, that's about it. So just for another comparison here, right now the equalizer is on and now it is off. I'll go ahead and switch it back on and that difference is night and day. The coolest thing about this Peace Equalizer program is you can hit the X, close it, it doesn't even have to live in your taskbar. Once you close it, you don't have to open it again. It will simply 
apply these changes. You don't have to have it boot up with Windows. You don't need to change your input and output device in your games or Discord or anything like other apps like Voice Meter have you do. You simply apply the changes, hit the X, and it lives on. You don't have to do anything. One thing that I will tell you guys is make sure you take a screenshot of your finalized EQ settings because when Windows updates, sometimes it will um, change the equalizer back to normal. That's just pesky Microsoft doing doing Microsoft things. But that's really the only tip. You keep the equalizer closed, and once you make the changes, you don't have to do anything. You, it doesn't even have to start with Windows. It simply works. It doesn't live anywhere in your taskbar or anything like that, and it is that easy. So anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. If it helped you out, please be sure to leave a like and share it with your friends if they have garbage microphones, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.